drone detected. Rogue Stinger Hive detected. I'm on a different level with building. This tank build's coming in three different ways. There's three different ways to run it. Right here is with the technician specialization. So you can heal your shield. This is a hardwire tank build. thought of many different ways and I realized I was always running region tank builds so I wanted to make a tank build that had to do with armor and many different versions of what a tank would have so with this specialization we have homing rockets something that a tank has Equipped with the sticky bomb, that's our, our cannon, you would say. And you have the shield for armor plating. Every 10 seconds, you can fire, fire the cannon. Well, that was a little less than 10, but you know, you get two cannon shots within two seconds.
you shoot the first one, you pop your shield, you get the second cannon. Then after that, you have to wait 10 seconds. If you wait the full cooldown, 20 seconds, 23 seconds, then you can keep shooting two cannons, blast, sticky bombs, every 23 seconds, every 20 seconds. But once I get moving, I just keep that thing coming. seen a lot of people use this uh, hardwire gear set to do infinite seeker mines but I'd rather have infinite sticky bombs it took me a while to come up with this one but I had it in the back of my head for a while just didn't understand how to use it yet. I had to gain a little more knowledge. This particular gear set that I'm running, this version of the tank build, you're at, uh, I believe, 2% regen. This is so you're more tanky. And your, your uh, sticky bomb hits harder. With my new final version, I'm getting the sticky to hit up to 5 million. And that's before procking the guns. Another special thing I incorporated into this build is since I uh, not having a lot of regen like I usually do. You're a saint, you're a self healing tank. You get extra medi kits. So this is why I'm just running at them. Because I'm gonna take my medi kit and it's not gonna go away. It's gonna stay on four. You get to take a couple extra. That's why I like this little version because it allows me when I get in a lot of bad situations, I always have med kits. And the good thing about this version is if your shield gets in trouble and you're in trouble getting hurt, that's when you just pop your med kit and you can heal both of them at the same time. I have a lot more footage to show you of that build, but I feel like jumping into the other version. I don't want to waste too much time. With this version, we're using the Debolition Specialization so we can have an infinite rocket turret instead of the, the uh, sticky bomb. This is for people that like to use the mortars. I like using the sticky bomb on this version too, but I just wanted to show this. The special thing about this armored tank build is combined with the demolition specialization and the Sawyer's knee pads, you become explosion resistant once every 60 seconds.
and you cannot be staggered by explosions ever. So, basically, the first person or the first group of people, you run up to them, you make sure you got your mortar turret out already, you pop your shield, you walk up close to them, and you shoot yourself. That way, the first group of people or first person will get mortared because they'll be trying to melee your shield. And then you hit them with a mortar turret, you don't get hurt because you have Soyuz knee pads and a demolition arm. This version is for people that, you know, hit themselves a lot, like I used to, with their, with their mortar turret. But it's to make you more explosion resistant for legendary matches. Working all three of these builds and a couple others at the same time, so bear with me if I forget anything. This version, when you take your med kit, you get, I believe, 45% weapon handling for, I believe, 10 seconds. Which that's really good if you um, have trouble with aiming. It's really good when I'm running my uh, Liberty pistol. Liberty pistol with a more stability is it's a problem. Right now I'm running the uh, pistol that gives you an extra skill tier. It's another good thing about this build is you jump in skill tiers all the time. These, but this, you can die with this. Don't let this video fool you. I died a lot of times using these two builds. It takes a while to get used to. Unless you're used to, you know, not having regen a lot. 
I'm, I'm used to having a lot of regen on my builds, but I'm moving away from that and moving towards more stronger builds. But I always keep my regen there, though. Every skill build should have it. Yeah, you don't have to fight that part. You, you can just skip that part. Light them all on fire. Clear room so easy with this. Like halfway through the mission already. It's only been like five minutes. With some of my builds, it takes like ten minutes to beat a board. Less if I have people with me. Disgusting. And that's another thing I love about this version of the build. I love having that grenade launcher. That's your uh, cannon on this one. Besides having a mortar turret. To me, if you make a tank build, at least now for me, I don't know about other people. I'm focusing more on explosions because it's called a tank. Not just because you could take damage. It's because a tank has cannons and special armor so that's what I'm developing special armored tank builds you don't even see me using medipacks really because I'm clearing the room so fast but I still have uh, four even though I've used them Gotta be nice with that dive roll.
this version is the uh, technician, except I have the Liberty pistol. Ramps out a lot more power, and it heals your shield. Get up to a million a headshot if you ramp it up enough with body shots. Million headshot. The sticky bomb and the Liberty together, oh man, that's just bad. Because the Liberty keeps healing your shield, and every time you pop your shield, you're getting a sticky bomb. So you pop your shield, you let them shoot at you, you hit them with a sticky bomb, blow half their shields off or more, and then you finish them off with the Liberty. Whenever you want to be in cover, that's when you use your main primary guns. I usually just run around with the pistol. But I, I like using the primary guns because for some of them, one, the other build I was showing you, I was using a SMG with per, Future Perfect and a shotgun. This version, I believe I have my SMG with Future Perfect and a shotgun with uh, amplified damage. The further enemy is away from me. I wanted to see how that would work with a shotgun. It actually works pretty good. See what I mean? You can die. If you're hurt, use your med packs. The chest piece allows you to get more than four, definitely more than five. You can probably get at least seven to ten. I like to play dangerous and I am always forget to use my med packs thinking I'm going to heal off my regen. So don't be shy with med packs on this build. That's what I love about this build the most. It's because I see a lot of people not use regen. Oh, wow. And within the first board of legendary, the first little mission, they're already out of med packs. And no one's invested into this chess piece. Which is ridiculous. You get regen out of it and you get a lot of med packs. If you combine it with other backpack talents, oh man, the things you can do that a lot of people, I guess, haven't figured out yet. This chest piece with an overcharged backpack, I, I already showed it on my uh, infinite overcharged backpack build. And now I'm using that same chest piece on a hardwire build. There's so much potential. Yeah, he knows he can't win. Started backing up quick. He knew it was over. Hope you guys like that one. I got some other builds coming. I'm gonna start uh, showcasing different ones, like I've been doing. The, the coming soon, and then I'll put the video out, giving me some time to work on things. I got two uh, builds that I want to rush out. I don't think I should, but I got decent pieces and the thought process and the idea of it, it works. I have a Miles Morales build coming, the Black Spider-Man, and I have a Venom build. 
I'm, I'm switching back over to Marvel. If you seen my earlier videos, I already had the Wolverine build. I had the Hulk explosion resistance build. Resistance. My Hulk build was amazing. My Hulk build was immune to every status effect. The computer couldn't set me on fire, couldn't use the drones on me, nothing would hurt me, only the bullets. And then I had a lot of regen, so their bullets really didn't mean anything. Matter of fact, let me give you a little demonstration of that. Because, to my recollection, I still have a clip of that. And I've been dying to show this one again. Because I don't think people realize what they can do. When you eliminate all of these things. Sorry, work with me. Gotta look this one up. Here we go. Now I got it. This is my old uh, Hulk explosion bleed resistance build. Your resistance to like everything almost. But fire and bleed is at 100. Everything else is at, I believe, 80 or 70 or something like that. Very high. This is legendary. And me and this guy just started waiting for other agents. And this is what happened. could imagine what it would look like four agents running this build or one agent running this build another running my legendary tank build used to be unstoppable there's no way the computer can beat that there's no way especially with the new shotgun out I didn't even have that shotgun or the momentum backpack when I made this build they can't kill me Got the ninja bike knee pads on. Nobody likes to use those. Perfect intimidate Proker. Sorry. This is before I found out about protection from elite. That's what's said. If I would have had protection from your lead on this build it'd be even worse but then I would lose my resistance to fire and bleed
one main army out there. This guy's sitting behind a wall, letting his drone do the work. It helped. But I've been all over that border. I've been running around the whole, I, like, come on, man. Hit that like button. Hit that like Easy money. Hope you guys like that. See you next time, agents. Have a good day.